Oh, 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 oh,
and you have a lot of queens and jacks, open that baby to no trump. If you have good prime values, open it to clubs and rebid to no trump. So 22 points is also a cusp bid. Use your judgment. You guys are getting to the point where you don't need hard and fast rules all the time. There's a lot of judgment in this game. Right? How do you develop your judgment? By playing, yes. By making mistakes. I have, a, I have a PhD in experience. So, if I open two spades, how do they know whether it's strong or weak? Well, if you open two spades in this game, that, that's weak. Yeah. Uh, okay, but if I open two diamonds. Same thing. Things are weak. That's weak, isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. but, if you're saying here are but these are one level opening bids by the owner. We're not talking about weak twos, preempts, strong two clubs. These are basic one of a suit opening bids. But you have, you have two down there for an opening bid. Is that not an opening bid? Oh, no. It's not. Uh, well, uh, well, this is a different subject oh, down here. Well, I'll give that in a minute. Okay, now then, the reason this is here, how many points do you need to make, say, two spades or two hearts between your two hands? How many do you need to get? 20 to 21, generally. In other words, about half the points in the deck, right? Okay? Or you can make one no trump with that, usually. Occasionally you can skate by and make one no trump with about 19 between the two hands. To make two no trump, you need about 23 points together. About 23. To make game, you all know this, about how many points between the two hands? 26. 25 will do, though. Close enough, right? And how many do you need to make game in a minor? 28 or 29. If you're feeling aggressive, you can try it with 27. But don't expect a lot of sympathy if it's not like it. All right, now then. So what is opener to do after he's, he bids and then responder comes back with a simple raise in his major suit? In other words, one heart, two hearts. With a minimum hand, what should he do? Pass. Pass. You have 13 on average, or 14, and partner has seven or eight, you're plenty high enough, aren't you? If you have 17 or 18 points, what should you do? Three cards. Three cards. That's inviting the game. Say, partner, if you're on eight or nine, or maybe even that lousy 10, we should be in game. But if you're on six or seven, this will be quite high enough. So that passes the ball back over to the responder, doesn't it? Okay. How about if you have the maximum hand, 19 to 21? Bid the game. After all, all you need for partner to have is six points and three card support, and you should have game, shouldn't you? So you bid game. All right. How about if instead of bidding two hearts, he bids three hearts? What do you do with a minimum hand? Pass. No. No. Depends. This is the same sort of thing that this three-heart bid is here. Here, partner is inviting you, inviting you to game with a maximum. So my motto is invite with 11 and accept with 14. So if I have 14 points, I'm going to do the game. Partner's got 11, right? That gives us 25. So if I have 14, I'm going to bid the game. But if I have 12 or 13, I'll pass. Uh, the, the the game I play, when I get to that point, the computer almost always wants me to bid a, a suit to let my partner know where I had stopped her. That's another subject. <laughs> We're not going to get into game cries. That's, that's way on beyond this. Uh, now then, how about if your partner bids four hearts? What does it mean when your partner bids four hearts after you've opened one heart? You're done. done. Stop. He's got points for game. Philip is shaking his head no. Why not, Philip? That's a weak hand your partner has five. That's a weak freak. That's exactly right. He has five of your trump and seven or eight points. He's 
says, we have a big fit in hearts. Let's crowd it before they find their spade fit. Okay, so can you walk like you and me? One heart, four hearts. I go immediately. Yes. Four hearts. When you have five trumps, you have a combined ten trumps right. between you. Okay. And that means you bid to the ten trick level. And that, that's game. That. And well, that, that, that won't stop an experienced okay. opponent, but so it'll make them think twice if they're vulnerable, let me tell you. Okay. Would you like to start bidding at the four level? No. Yeah. You don't do that if you have some points. Wait, if you have some points, what do you do, Philip? Bid a new suit. Bid a new suit. What does the new suit do? Forces, Forces the opener to bid again. Then you can bid game on the next round. That's the difference between the weak freak and the, hey, we have points for game and I have support. Now then, if the opener has more, he can think about the slam. But a one heart, four heart is not a strong bid. Excuse not me. a strong bid. It's weak. Susan? Yes. So the one heart, four heart, and then the opener, if they name another suit. That would name another suit over four hearts? Oh, oh, I don't know. What was it that you just said, Philip? Well, if it's one heart, if he has, if he has 13 or 14 points as responder, mm -hmm. he won't bid four hearts. He'll bid two clubs, <coughs> maybe. Or one spade. It doesn't make any difference what it is. As long as he bids a suit, it's forcing. The opener has to bid again. So how is it one heart? Uh, two clubs, clubs. Two diamonds. Four hearts. Then that's where you go. <laughs> that's, yes. Then you go to four hearts. You're telling is him it, you've got four hearts. No, wait just a minute, Joyce. Yes, or Is it forcing if the other side bids? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, if, if, the, if the other side bids and his partner, the advancer, bids again, if it's gotten so high that the opener is not comfortable, Bidding, but he has your, your partner has another bid. Don't forget, if you get interference, your partner has another bid. You don't have to run an ambulance. <laughs> that suit clubs isn't telling you anything about my hand. Is sure it? it is. It tells me that you have at least ten high card points and probably five clubs, four clubs in a pinch. If you have, if you're strong enough to to go to the game, you wouldn't want to bid the two clubs, right? Because that could be one heart, two clubs. Why you say he can't pass the two clubs? No, he cannot pass two clubs. Absolutely cannot. That's a new suit by a responder who is an unpassed hand is absolutely forcing for one round. That is an absolute law in this game. If your partner bids a new suit as responder and he's an unpassed hand, you must bid again. Notice I said suit, not no trump. I said suit. So it means because you bid at the two level, that tells you Yes, ten. Ten, ten, ten points. points. <laughs> one level, that, that's a six to nine. No, it's not six to nine. Or six, oh, six, six, six and above. Six if he names a new suit, it's six points plus. Remember, the only, the weakest bid that you can make is a simple raise of partner's opening suit. One diamond, two diamonds. One heart, two hearts. One heart, one spade is not six to nine points. It's six points plus on up to 30 or some such. Remember, yeah. it's an unlimited bid. One heart, two clubs is unlimited. 10 points up. Unlimited. Yes, Paul? Well, this, in this first case, the one heart has five hearts and uh, 13, uh, 12, 13, 14 points. Well, then he can name another suit. No, but I mean, then you bid the four hearts. How many points do you have to have? If he goes straight to four hearts. If he goes straight to four hearts, no. I bet it was six points. No. Yeah. It's well, a preemptive bid. Well, well, you don't expect to make it. What you're trying to do is keep the opponents from finding their big fit in the other major. Yeah. The difference is points. Uh, yes, exactly. All right. Now, if Parker bids a new suit, he doesn't support your suit. If you have four card support for that suit, raise one level with how many points? How many points? You're the opener. You have more than six to nine points. Responder has bid a new suit. Under 12 to 16. Yes, a minimum hand with 12 to 16. <coughs> Jump a level with how many points? <laughs> Yes. And bid game with 19 and 
Uh, yes. Not, obviously 21, but 22, you'd have opened what? Two clubs. Two clubs, that's right. All right. Let's look at this a little bit. If you have fewer than four cards in partner's new suit, you can bid no trump. To bid no trump, you need to have at least two cards in your partner's suit. Don't be bidding no trump with a singleton in your partner's suit. A lot of people think, oh, well, my partner has that suit covered. It'll be okay. Guess what? It's not okay. You know why? Transportation, Transportation problems. Exactly. <coughs> so, you can bid, re bid one no trump with how many points? Bit of 
part and see what partner says. How about one club, one spade back to you? Now what? You skipped one. No, I didn't. We're on number four. Three. No, three. 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 That was one club. Oh, sorry. One club past one heart by your partner. Now what are you going to bid? Going hearts. Why are you bidding three hearts? You do not have enough points to bid three hearts. Yeah, this is a minimum opening hand, isn't it? Simple raise until partner tells you otherwise. He'll go on from that point if he has more. But you need to tell him, I only have a minimum opening hand. But I have four hearts with you. How about one club, one spade? Back to you. Now what? I hear all kinds of things. I've heard one, one, uh, no trump. I heard two hearts. Two, two clubs. And I heard two clubs. Two clubs. You absolutely cannot bid two hearts here. That reverses the hand, and that requires a 17 point hand. You're bidding. The suit's out of order. Lower ranking went first, and partner has to bid at the three level to go back to your first suit. That's called a reverse, and it requires 17 points. And the bid that stays, you already denied that he had four diamonds and a heart. He denied that he had four hearts. That's exactly right. Since we bid our four card suits up the line, he does not have four hearts. So what should we bid? Two clubs. One no trump. Your hand is balanced, is it not? If you had if you had six clubs, two clubs would be correct. But your hand is balanced, so tell your partner your hand is balanced. If his hand is unbalanced, he'll bid two clubs if he doesn't like the one no trump spot. And all right, now the last one is one club, one no trump. Back to you. Now what? Pass. Pass. Cannot bid two hearts. Pass. That's a reverse. Mm -hmm. And partner denies four hearts. When he bids a no trump, he's denied four hearts or four spades. Mm -hmm. You don't ever jump over four hearts or four spades to bid a no trump. Mm -hmm. So that's a pass. That's a pass. Partner says, I have six to ten points. I do not have five clubs, and I don't have four cards in any major suit. Fold them up, we're playing it here. We'll skip this last one because we're running a little bit late. One day there was a young man who walked into the pharmacy and he went back to the back and he told the pharmacist that he wanted to buy a box of a dozen condoms. And the pharmacist said, well, okay, got big plans, huh? And uh, the young man says, oh yeah, I've been, I've been getting her ready for a long time now. This is the night, I can tell, it's gonna happen, I'm ready. This is going to be great. So, takes his purchase and goes on his merry way. Goes up to his girlfriend's house and knocks on the door. And, and uh, she comes out on the front porch and she says, You know, my parents haven't met you yet. And they would like for you to come and have dinner with us. And he says, Well, you mean we can't leave right now? She said, No, let's go have dinner. So he says, well, all right, we'll go in and do that. She says, well, after dinner, we can tell them we're going to the movies or something, and then we can go <coughs> somewhere where we can be alone. So they go in, sit down at the table, they're getting ready to eat, and the young man says, would you mind if I pray first? And the girl's mother says, well, no, not at all. That would be very nice. So he bows his head and he says, dear Lord, bless this food and the hands that have prepared it. Help us remember that forgiveness is the greatest of all qualities and that to err is human and to forgive is divine. Help us to remember that as we go through our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The mother says, that was very, very nice. The girlfriend elbows him and says, I didn't know you were so religious. And he says, you didn't tell me your dad was a pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs>